Shah Muhammad writes, have attributes worth protecting. We're supposed to put our lives on the line for a person that doesn't honor us enough to cook and clean. Oh, wow. oh, what? Well, oh, she told that man to get him. What? She w- should be down the street from where you live. He want uh, someone oh, to cook you some food. You- I mean, I could cook, but uh, oh, that's how they all. Yeah, deserves that. Yeah, you can't have that wifey level without putting a ring on it. She said, wait, I got to get married for you to cook? Damn. Oh, hell nah. Oh, hell nah. Oh, no. Look, been giving it up for free? We're going to do two things. Oh, first, hell no. First, no. first I'm going to get at her foul real quick. I'm going to get at her foul real quick, and then I'm going to let you talk. You Mexican, right? Are you, no, I'm Italian. You're Italian. Yeah, Why, Italian. Who, who's Mexican? Is anybody? You Mexican. We're going to you next, right? And I'm going to tell you why in a second. Number one. I got to get at you foul because it doesn't make any sense that I got to marry you for you to show me that you can cook and clean. Cause here's the thing. Why would I marry you? If you haven't already displayed the qualities of a wife, mm. huh? It's like, you ain't going to show me your resume, but you want to get hired for the job. But mm. that make any house, damn you sense. know that my house is clean and there's food on the table. My daughter's fed each day. She's growing very well and she's smart and she's, you know, like, I've made the mistakes of having so why relations you, with and then having kids, but you know, I'm gonna take accountability. I'm gonna take my I like that. Shout out so to Shorty right here my for daughter yeah. is well well like well educated. Mm-hmm. At two years old, she's writing her ABCs, she's speaking like her her vocabulary is very big already, like mm-hmm. maybe a thousand words. And she has manners. Right. And that's because I pride myself in being a mother. And I make sure that, you know, she has everything that she needs to be successful in life. But can I say something real quick? Can I say something real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got got one, two, three, four, five. Here's the thing, right? Not until marriage, I can't get you to cook. And the truth be told, like children eat anything you put in front of them. She got you eating top ramen. I know, right? (laughs) Damn it. Damn it. I got to find out. Uh See, I... We got to find out if you're a cook because you just doing me a disservice because like get married. Then you find out, man, she a trash cook. Right. You got married to it. Right. Get ready to get that divorce immediately. You've been exactly. tricked. She, that's why she want to do it. No, yeah. let Probably me trash. Myself. Let me correct myself. I know I cook, what happened here. I'll do like Friendsgivings or like I'll have like Sunday dinner with everybody. Where everybody You cook for everybody but your man? No, I'm... I don't cook for my man, but you know, they're part of that whole situation. I if this wasn't cook, our I mic, get, I, I would throw this mic plate. straight oh, off this make, table. The I'll hell? I know where this is coming from. See, you have dealt with a guy that you were really into, and then things didn't go the way you wanted, and now you're holding back. Yeah. Yeah, and I understand because when you get hit, you get hurt, you got to make some adjustments. But the thing is, the adjustments that you're making, say you're dealing with a fake guy, right? So you're dealing with a phony dude who wasn't what he said he was. He hurt you, and now you're holding back. Now when you encounter a guy who's the real thing... You don't give him his proper due. So if he doesn't get the respect that he expects, then he's not going to stick with you. So you're letting something in the past mess up the future. Yeah, I'm kind of um, known for that. Though. I don't know yeah, that it's all right, baby. We're going to sign you <laughs> up for this Dr. Phil that. session. <laughs> like, um, I got you. Um, We had... Um, you said one, two... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Come, yeah. What's your wow. name again? What's your name? Yeah. Angelina. 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 Okay, so I personally feel like if a man is... At home where my child is. Mind you, I don't have no kids. Okay. So Holla. all the mothers don't kill don't kill me. Yeah, yeah. But if you're in my house where my child lays, where you can find out what my child is eating and how clean my house is, like you should probably be getting a plate. Like I don't why are you yeah. that comfortably? If I can show you my child before I can show you a lobster tail, that's crazy. Ooh. I just don't like that. Look into the camera and tell them that. <laughs> I don't like that. If I can show you um, a child before I can show you a lobster tail, it's a ghetto. Mm. I don't Thank like it. You. No disrespect to her. Right, right. Like we that. just keeping it funky she out here. Super true. I don't That's, like that ooh, stuff. I love I'm it. I'm gonna set this down. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. I don't like that. You're Mexican, right? Yeah. The whole thing, or just one hundred percent. That's beautiful. I love Mexican women. Mexican women love me. We can talk about that later. I am the mariachi pimpin. Okay. Yes, indeed. Check me out. But here's the thing. I love Mexican women because they're very traditional. You feel me? Generally speaking, when you find a Mexican woman, she's going to, you know, basically let the man lead and run that program. And she's going to be respectful and loyal. And when I was in high school, you know what used to happen? The essays would catch a case, Mm -hmm. get locked up for two, three years. They girls stay down, go Mm -hmm. visit them. 
bring them stuff, put money on their books. When they get out, she right there, played her part the whole time. The Mexican girls is a fee I issue. That's facts. Not a, thank you. Thank you. That's right. What? Thank you. What? Thank you. They, hey, they ain't got the pimping. She said it was two, three know. years, but here's the thing. A lot of chicks nowadays can't last three days. You heard me? I can't go on a business trip to the East Coast without you blowing up my phone, wondering what I'm up to. They're bored. I feel like social media has saved a lot of lives. If they didn't have Instagram, they wouldn't have anything to do with their time. You feel me? That's facts. Yeah, I, I look at these, these IGs and I'm like, okay, are you getting paid for all these pictures you putting up? They not. Wow. They not. It hurts me. They not. It hurts me. They getting likes. Who says something? I, what's that? Go I feel like relationships are all about what you bring to the table. I mean, if you were with someone that cooks well and you clean well, then you got to be a team. Like, it's not all like the woman has to do this, the man has to do that. Right. What if the girl makes all the money? She's a model. Right. And the guy's at home, period. And the guy's at home taking care of the kids for a little while. Like, yeah. it, I wouldn't want that. I would want a guy that can hustle for right. sure because I feel like that's a very important quality and <laughs> that's sexy that. to me. Yeah. But I also want to be hustling as well. Mm -hmm. You know? I can dig it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dating, you know, I'm dating someone that maybe knows how to like cook. I'll make sure I'm going to do my part as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's bringing the money. Hell, or tell maybe him to bring cleaning. me a plate when you come through on the you late got night. got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, tell your man to bring me a plate when you come through <laughs> on the late night, baby. Okay, cool. That's beautiful. Um, yeah. I just wanted to add, mm -hmm. I think any relationship is a team situation, right. whether it, a relationship, a situationship, whatever you want to call it. So for instance, if you are hanging out with me every day mm -hmm. and you pick me up after work and I know you're there to protect me and I want you to keep protecting me, then I'm going to feed you because mm -hmm. I know that's a strength I have cooking right. and that's not everyone's strength. But if you want to go back to old, like, um, old fashioned households, that is why women did stay home because their attention to detail and raising right. kids. And that is a strength. And I think if you know mm. that's a strength, you should play that to your advantage. Ooh, go on now. Go on now. I feel Sean. like I got advice. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, I feel like life is too short. Um, I don't really talk to people unless I feel invested, unless I feel like you impress me in a way that my heart is affected. Um, but just put everything on the table because that's how you're going to find out like who's mm. really meant for you. And so if you cook, cook for them, cook for each other. Like, it doesn't matter. The norms don't matter. I was just sitting here listening to this, and I was just like, it's a team thing. But also, just give your all. Because that was also for you, too, because you were, like, holding back and stuff. I just feel like, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's her whole philosophy. I'm going to get a T-shirt, just say, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to just, I ain't going to say nothing. I'm going to just point to it when people say something stupid. <laughs> Beautiful thing. Sean writes, what we say in the Sassin. Be yourself, real talk. Females can give birth to children, which is damn near superpower. Embrace that. What he's referring to is we got a three sentence Bible, three sentence Torah, three sentence Quran. Number one, be yourself. And that's to what you were saying. You're saying, hey, if you if you can cook, cook. Yeah. If you can do whatever yeah. you do, do what you do. Yeah. And number mm -hmm. two, so it's like be yourself, be good to yourself, which means Hey, you got to love on yourself before you love on anybody else. 100%. And then number three is be good to good people. And that's what I would tell to Shorty right here, which is sometimes you're good to people who don't show you love back. And that's when yeah. you get done dirty. So it's like be good to good people. And you have to make sure that they're actually a good person. Yeah. That's the key. Love harder next time if that happens. Mm -hmm. like, fuck it. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. I feel like that's just how I live my life. Huh. I don't know. I'm, I was raised like that too. Max it out. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. There we go. Max it out. Y'all, y'all, y'all just stick together. I, I feel like we bring these <laughs> two vibes either. together. Yeah. It, it's it's right. balance. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a homegirl. She don't even know it right now. Huh. Yeah. She don't even huh. know it. That's a homegirl. Just slide me in the middle. Indeed, the beast writes, why protect the shawty that be probably that pro yeah. did he that be probably that be probably well tell a dude. Probably you not friend. my boyfriend. You a strong woman. Defend yourself. Be good to good people. Oh, he dirty. Oh, so I think I think he basically referencing <clears throat> some people who uh who be holding back. So he basically said, if you ain't showing me that love, love, you gotta protect yourself. 